with Sauk Valley's Weather Authority. This is Sauk Valley Weather Today with meteorologist Andrew Stutsky. Coming off of a beautiful weekend on this Monday morning, hopefully you were able to get outside for at least a little bit of an opportunity to see some of that warmth and sunshine. As we're going to be losing not only the sun, but the warmth today and even tomorrow looking a little bit chilly. But now that we're still in a quiet pattern for much of this week, figure it'd be a good idea to take a look and see what our average first time is that we hit the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Well, the 60s is usually February 23rd. We've already done that. We did that about February 27th when we surpassed 60 degrees. So now we basically wait and look and see, well, when do we hit 70 degrees usually for the first time each year? That's right around March 24th. So literally only a couple of weeks away for that average first high of 70. And really the first high of 80 is not all that far behind that. We usually reach that at about April 17th. So if you are longing for those warmer days, statistically speaking and average speaking, they're not that far away, basically a month before we start seeing readings like that. And again, that's of course bearing any extreme pattern changes. And boy, have we seen some of those already this winter here. We'll have to see what happens in the coming weeks. Change today though, we say goodbye to the middle to upper 40s and trade it in for just plain old 40 degrees, mostly cloudy, cool, and it will be windy. Winds could gust as high as 20 miles per hour this afternoon, giving it a little bit more chill. Heading into the next week here, temperatures colder tomorrow, only 30s for highs, a little bit more in the way of sunshine though, so there's a bright spot if you will. More sunshine for Wednesday, warm front lifting through the area that'll put us close to 50 degrees during the day, over 50 for Thursday, staying dry. We'll have another disturbance try and move in on Friday, staying in the 50s, a slight chance of some showers later in the day. St. Patrick's Day on Saturday looking dry and mild and still mild on Sunday, though we're tracking again a chance for a few showers. Either way, you look at it, a nice forecast towards the end of the weekend. No big storm systems as of right now, but we'll fine tune those rain chances as we continue onward through the rest of the week.